the run through of Doctor Who. So, next year, it is exactly 20 years since the TV movie aired. Uh, it was aired in May uh, in 1996, uh, specifically the 12th of May in Canada, the 14th in USA, and on the 27th of May, I think it was, in 1996, that it aired in the UK. So I decided um, to prepare for that. Uh, I'm gonna run through the entire classic series of Doctor Who on DVD, because I have a lot of them on DVD. I have uh, from uh, the first story, uh, An Unearthly Child, up until uh, Genesis of the Daleks, which is the second story of Tom Baker as the Doctor, and in between there I have some uh, some stories in between uh, from the fourth, fifth, and the sixth Doctor, and then I also have the new series over here, and even the Dalek collection. I'll go through that one some other time. But now it's gonna be about the first series of Doctor Who, which ran from the twenty third. Of November 1963 up until let's see here. I'm gonna take out all of all of them here. Up until the 12th of September 1964, and uh, well, the first season of Doctor Who consisted of let's see. I'm gonna cheat a little bit here and take off my phone and to check how many episodes that the first uh, season consisted of. Let's see here. In the first season of Doctor Who there were 42 episodes and out of those there is 9 episodes missing because in, in BBC's archive back in the day they cleared out old videotapes with episodes like Doctor Who for example. So from the year 1963 up until the year 1969 there are 97 episodes missing and as I said in the first season there are 9 episodes missing. Let's start it off then. First we have this box set here called The Beginning which is basically as it's called The Beginning. So we have The Beginning with William Hartnell as the first Doctor and in here we have three DVDs. Let's put this one up there first. So let's start off with An Unearthly Child, which is the first story. So back in when uh, Doctor Who was in the classic series, it was uh, a bit different from today. So they had stories on each season, so uh, they're like parts of a story. So this is a four parter, for example. Uh, so there were four episodes of one story and then there were a few stories over a season. So the first season had eight stories. And the first one, as I said, An Unearthly Child, where we have Ian Chesterton and Barbara Wright, who discovers that Susan Foreman is a bit peculiar student of theirs. And uh, it's, Susan is the one you see on the cover here. So they follow her home and find out that she lives in the junkyard and eventually they find found out that she lives in this police public call box so they enter it and voila there's the TARDIS which is it's bigger on the inside as probably was a line in the first one I don't I'm not sure if that was actually exactly what they said in the episode but it's Still, so uh, to prevent uh, Ian and Barbara from telling anyone about this police box, uh, the doctor starts the TARDIS, and well, they go back in time to about 100,000 years BC, where they meet a lot of cavemen and they have a struggle with uh, them inventing fire, etc. Not inventing, learning how to make fire. Yeah. Actually, people don't say it's a good story, but this came as story is actually quite good. The second story, The Daleks. Seven-parter, 
Did I say that was a four parter? If I didn't say that, I say that now. Okay, this is the seventh parter, and also you see the Daleks, they were already in the series back then. So they're the second in the second story of the first Doctor, William Hartnell. And what's interesting about this one is that the Daleks can't roam free as today, they can't fly, for example. And also, they only work when they're on metal, because they are run by some sort of electricity in the floor. So this one takes place on the home planet of the Daleks, on Skaro. And <clears throat> there we have the Dolls, which became the Daleks, and the Thals, which are some other people living on the planet and that, that are in a war with the Daleks. Sorry for coughing right now. <coughs> mm. Sorry about that. Okay, so which makes it a bit different from later stories when they're called the Khalids, and it's an anagram of Daleks. Yeah, so the story was a bit different back then. So, Seven Potter. Next one, The Edge of Destruction, which is a typical filler episode, or it's two episodes, but it's actually a really good example of a filler episode, because uh, when this was made, they didn't have any budget at all. They had to make two episodes because the, these three was made as a 13 episode block. Uh, which meant they had to make two episodes, they had no money, which ended up with a story entirely set in the TARDIS, only containing the four cast members, uh, main cast, you know, Ian, Barbara, Susan and the Doctor. And, well, it's not the best story, but I mean, it's 1963 for the first, or yeah, it was, it aired in 1964, but it was probably maybe recorded in 1963. And, well, it wasn't the best, because, you know, filler back then, worse than a filler today. Okay, so, next story, story number four is called Marco Polo. Now, Marco Polo is one of those that are missing episodes. To be precise, it's all episodes are missing from the first to the seventh episode. And, uh, but, there's one good thing to know about this. All the episodes exist in audio format. Yes, this means that someone back in the day when it was aired recorded the audio of the TV series and that is what is saved. And you can buy a CD, for example, or watch a reconstruction made with telesnaps, which is uh, pictures from the actual episodes when they were aired. And, well, that's the way to experience uh, the seven part of Marco Polo. Now, speaking of reconstructions, this one has a... Uh, let's see what it's called here. Is it... Uh, well... I'm not sure if decondensed is the right word, so I'm not gonna use that word. I'm still gonna say it's a 30 minute version of Marco Polo, which sums up the story. And that is on the disc in this one, The Edge of Destruction. Story number five is called The Keys of Marinus. Now, The Keys of Marinus uh, is uh, a story. Uh, which I really like. I think it, this is one of my favorites from the entire first season of Doctor Who. Uh, but some people, some fans don't like this story. I like it, though I understand maybe why people don't like it, because uh, the last episode, like the, from the, it's, I think it's a six-parter. Let's, I'm just gonna check inside, see if it's a six-parter. Yes. Uh, well, the last like two or three episodes were maybe a bit slow in comparison to the other first three episodes. But I really like this one because it's sort of a treasure hunt, which is something that I like. So they try to find these keys of Mariners, which are like in this format sort of keys to run a machine. And well, their hunt for it uh, takes place in a variety of places, which Makes me really like this one. Also, there's something interesting about this one. Uh, William Hartnell needed a break during the recording of this one. 
So in two episodes, he's not even in them. Uh, and they fill it out with him traveling a few steps ahead before the other people, the other uh, people in the story. Well, I'm not gonna go into this too much. I'm gonna take this afterwards when I've run through all these. Nextly, nextly, is nextly even a word? Next up, we have the Aztecs. The Aztecs, it's well, this story establish, establishes why you shouldn't change time. Because time has, uh, well, fixed points as it's told by the 10th Doctor, David Tennant. So, the Aztecs, uh, I bought the special edition, as you see here, this, this one is called Spe Special Edition. And the reason why is because, well, it's Special Edition. It came out later, it has... For example, uh, better picture and sound quality than the first release, which was released before this one, obviously. Uh, so, yeah. Is this a four-parter? I need to check for... Yes, it's a four-parter. The Aztecs is a four-parter. And what's interesting about this one too is that when this one came out, uh, recently they had discovered an episode called Galaxy 4 Part 3. No, it wasn't actually called Part 3, uh, but uh, the third part of a story called Galaxy 4. So, uh, when I get to Season 3, I'll get back to this one. But, well, this one establishes about fixed points and, well, it's set in an Aztec colony. Yeah. Next up, we have the Sensorites. And the Sensorite actually were featured in uh, the episode Time Heist in series 8 of the new series as a picture in the episode I think it was called Time Heist. It's the one where they rob uh, the safest bank in the entire galaxy. Yeah, and also the Sensorites are actually relatives to the Ood from the new series. And well, in this episode... Uh, uh, well, they're actually actually they usually usually to get the story forward. They use different methods to make the Doctor unable to enter the TARDIS and finish his adventure. And in this case, the Sensorite stopped him by picking away uh, the uh, the entire lock from the TARDIS, so he couldn't use his key to open it. Yeah. I don't remember much of this one because it was a while since I saw it. And it isn't the best story either. Let's see how many episodes it were. Uh, there are these booklets inside of them, so I used these ones to call. Part 6. Yes, it was a 6 part of the Sensor Rights. The last one, then, we have The Reign of Terror, which takes place in uh, during the French Revolution. And, well, it, it's quite interesting, this story, because, uh, you know, the Doctor today is like, I don't use violence. We actually have a scene where William Hartnell, as the Doctor, basically smashes someone down with a shovel or something. Like this. Whoosh, sort of. I don't know why I, I made that swoosh sound. But still, he hits someone in this one. And... The Reign of Terror is also one of the stories with, which has missing episodes, but there's a difference in this one. Because some dedicated fans decided there are only two parts missing in this one, specifically episode 4 and 5. Let's make animated versions of them. This isn't the first one that had animated reconstructions, but well, they have animated reconstructions of episode 4 and 5. Now, the animation isn't like super high-tech like Disney quality or DreamWorks or some other company I can just name drop here uh, that makes cartoon movies. Well, it isn't like anima best animation that you can see today. Also, it's in black and white to uh, well keep the feeling of it being black and white because that's the way it was back then. So, these are all the Eight stories of the first season, the 42 episodes. So, An Unearthly Child, The Daleks, 
Edge of Destruction, Keys of Marinus, The Aztecs, The Sensorites and The Reign of Terror. Yes, that's it for the first season of Doctor Who. And now I'm going back to something I was gonna talk to you about before. Uh, and what was the... I have forgotten what it was, so I'm gonna just not bother about talking... Right, now I remember. Well, when these episodes were recorded back then, they run it as if it was live. So, for example, if you fluffed a line, for example, if you were supposed to say, well, let's go to the third doctor, reverse the polarity of the neutron flow, and you said, reverse the polarity of the neutron blow, then it would have stayed in the episode because you didn't uh, record it again if there were fluffs. So, this one, for example, the Edge of Destruction, has some major fluffs that we... Yeah, it was a sort of techno babble that the first Doctor had to say and he fluffed it, but it's still in the episode. Also, you can find in some places like a camera, part of a camera moving or like a microphone shadow of... Or actually a microphone coming down at the top of the picture like this. But, it, I mean, it was live. It was recorded as if it was live back then, so it was a bit harder. Yeah. So, to end this up, I'm just gonna say that uh, to get this all ended uh, by next year, I'm going to do these once a month, but that doesn't mean it won't be videos about Doctor Who here, because I will keep doing videos about Doctor Who on Saturdays from now on, uh, with an exception of the... Yeah, somewhere in the end of February where I'm going to a convention and I'm not gonna be able to upload on the Saturday, so that week I'm gonna skip it. Yeah, that's it for season one. In one month, well, to be specific, the last Saturday of February, which is... I don't know which date it is, actually. I can write it down here. It's this date. Yeah, so... More about uh, the classic series of Doctor Who then. See you later. Adios.